This is Dr. John Tolson, and you're listening to the Disciple Making Podcast. The theme kind of is critical questions. And to me, these are, are questions that uh, there are good answers for them, but it's just not getting the information and it's just not getting, quote, the answers, but it's taking the truth that hopefully we will be able to communicate and living by it. Uh, Jesus gave us his life so that we could live a different life. The Lord has given us his word so we could live by it, that it would transform us. So with that in mind, I want you to know that this uh, first, especially this first question we're going to look at for a couple weeks is so important. It's a matter of life and death. It really is a matter of existing or living. It's a matter of heaven or hell. So you might want to pay attention. So the question is, who is Jesus? It's been amazing to me over the years and even recently to talk to people and you mention the name Jesus and they have no idea who you're talking about. They think it's somebody that plays for a baseball team or I mean, they don't know. Maybe it's, a, it's some uh, personality, a, a singing star, a new star. What? They don't know. So don't assume that you know what the scripture says about him and that others who don't uh, really have a faith that they know anything about him. So that's what we're going to uh, explore today and next week. So who is Jesus? It's very interesting. If you go to the scripture, and I'm going to give you some homework to do here. I'm not going to read all these verses, but uh, in the Old Testament, first part of the Bible, it gives all these prophecies or predictions of the life of Jesus to come. And then in the New Testament, it syncs up and tells you exactly when what was said in the Old Testament happened in space, in time, at the tick of a clock, uh, of a date on a calendar, when it happened. It came true. And so I want you to see these, and we'll put these up so that you can study them on your own. I'm not going to read all the verses. I'm just going to tell you where they're found. So it talks about Jesus' birth in Isaiah chapter number 7, verse 14. In the New Testament, it's fulfilled in Matthew 1, 18, 22, and 23. It gives his birthplace. That's Micah in the Old Testament, chapter 5, verse 2. And we see the fulfillment in Luke 2, verses 4, 6, and 7. It talks about his childhood in Egypt in Hosea 11, 1. And then you see the fulfillment in Matthew 2, 14 and 15. We see the purpose of his death laid out in the Old Testament, Isaiah 53, verses 4 through 6. And by the way, that was approximately 700 years before Jesus came. It was predicted exactly what was going to happen. And then you see the fulfillment of that in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, and 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. We see his betrayal prophesied in the Old Testament. Zechariah chapter 11, verses 12 and 13. And Zechariah 13, verse 6. We see that fulfilled in the New Testament, Matthew 26, 14 through 16, and Matthew 27, verses 3 through 10. We see his crucifixion uh, foretold in the Old Testament, Psalm 22, particular details. And you can read about the fulfillment of that in Matthew 27. His resurrection, Psalm 16, 9 and 10. We see the fulfillment of that in the New Testament, Acts chapter 2, verse 31. So you can go and you can look at the Old Testament predictions and then look to the New and see how it was fulfilled. Now, how about his claims? Jesus made very specific claims about who he was because he came and one of his assignments was to convince people that he was who he claimed to be. This is what he said. In John chapter 15, verse 17, he said, my father is always at his work to this very day, and I, too, am working. My father is the key here. He said, I and the father are one. 
John 10, 30. He said, I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, John 14, 11. But he went on to say more. He said, I'm the bread of life, John 6, 35. He said, I'm the light of the world, John 8, 12. He said, I am the resurrection and the life, John 11, 25 and 26. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me, John 14, 6. And that's either true or it's not true. And then he said, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest, Matthew 11, 28 and 29. And then this is very important here. Recently, a commentator on television uh, said that Jesus was not perfect. Well, obviously, he's not read his Bible. And it says, in connection with his perfection, he committed no sins, 1 Peter 2, 22. Holy and blameless, unstained by sin, Hebrews 7, 26. A lamb without blemish or spot, 1 Peter 1, 19. Tempted in every way we are, yet without sin. Hebrews 4.15 Jesus claimed to be God in a body. That was his claim. He said, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. He says, if you want to know what God is like, then look at me. In Colossians chapter 1, verses 15 to 20, we put this all together. Christ is the exact likeness of the unseen God. He existed before God made anything at all. And in fact, Christ himself is the creator who made everything in heaven and earth, the things we can see and the things we can't. The spirit world with its kings and kingdoms, its rulers and authorities, all were made by Christ for his own use and glory. He was before all else began. And it is his power that holds everything together. He is the head of the body made up of his people. That is the church, which he began. He is the leader of all those who arise from the dead so that he is first in everything. But listen to the last verse, verse 19. For God wanted all of himself to be in his son. Man, it doesn't get any stronger or clearer than that. So here's what we can conclude with today. Jesus was either a liar or he was insane or he was who he claimed to be. And so how you decide is a matter of life and death, a matter of existing or living, a matter of heaven and hell. So you think about that. Thanks for listening to the Disciple Making Podcast. Check out our website at thetolsongroup.com and sign up for my weekly encouraging videos called Red Glasses Talks to come to your email every Monday morning. You can also find me at Dr. John Tolson on social media. I'd appreciate it if you'd leave me a review and share with a friend.